We're on the road in the Catskills with Sharon Teeter from the Oneana office of Realty USA. Sharon, thank you for being on the show today. Thanks for having us, John. Where in the world are we? You are in Stamford, New York. Yes! In the town of Jefferson, actually. Town of Jefferson, yeah. yes. Well, it is a beautiful area. I mean, this is, I don't think I've ever been out here before. Well, it's your loss. Yeah. You come out here more often. So, now what do we have here? Where, what are we looking at? We have a 210 acre equestrian farm with two homes one that's in excellent condition, the other one needs a little rehab. We have four horse barns and a Morton building and lots of horses to look at in rolling fields. Well, it is very picturesque. I love all the horses. Now, Sharon, tell me a little bit about this house. This is a wonderful, well-kept home with a fantastic metal roof. And if you look over here, you have a jacuzzi over here. It has three bedrooms and a bath, and it has beautiful stone walls. It's been in the family since the beginning of time when it was first <laughs> built. <laughs> like early 1900s, yes, right? Yes, exactly. Now, around back, beautiful stone walls, nice landscaping all around the property. Well, actually, the most of this home was built from the wood from the land. You have black cherry walls in here and floors. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's all been hand done. Well, let's go and take a look. Okay. This room was built with the wood from the land. It is black cherry wood. As you can see, they've done an excellent job. The uh, uh, beautiful uh, cabinetry and, and shelving and stuff uh, on either side of that. Is that a gas stove? Yes, and those shelves and all the cabinetry were hand planed and they're hard wood. Wow. And as you know, that's a very difficult task. It took them almost three and a half years to build this one room to get the wood dried correctly, planed right and sanded. Wow. This home also has a pellet furnace and an oil furnace, so you have two different sources of heat that makes it very efficient. I see that there is a sunroom uh, with a jacuzzi tub. Yes, it is, and it is all in excellent condition, and this is actually the second jacuzzi tub out on this porch. Come on, John, why don't you join me in the dining room area? As you can see, it's a lot of room with this beautiful large table in here. And once again, we have this beautiful clock in the corner that was also made from the wood from this land and done by really? the local clock guy to make it work, yes. Wow. And on the saw on the wall, another one that was used to cut the wood and it has a beautiful panoramic view of the whole land. The kitchen, very functional, plenty of counter space, oak cabinetry, a nice little work table island or a breakfast area. Yeah, and the way the sun comes in here in the mornings, it's absolutely gorgeous. You can read the newspaper and have your coffee. In the bedroom wing of the house, there are two bedrooms on the first floor and a full bath. So if you have someone that can't go up and downstairs in the family, it's one level living. It's very convenient, John. And with this, you know, you can come in off the back area, which is a much nicer entrance for maybe your in-laws or the person that's getting maybe a little older. And if you have children, you can always go downstairs and they can go in the playroom. And then, of course, you can bring them upstairs for their nap time to sleep in the one of the two bedrooms up there. Sharon, this is beautiful. Tell me a little bit about this barn. Well, this barn is one of four, John, and actually this barn can hold 25 horses when it's at full capacity. And you can see you have it, you're able to run your hays up for, I think it's over 1,500 bales of hay you can put on the top. Lots of room, very clean, and lots of roaming room for the horses. Now, how many stall barn is it? 20, 25. 25, wow. Right. Okay, and now this, there's this barn on the property and what other structures? There's a Morton building right across the street over there that you can see that is also doubles as a riding arena. We have another barn over here to your left that holds a lot of hay for when they do the hay in the fall for the winter time. And we have another barn behind this one that is being used for storage right now, but most certainly could be more stables. Well, it's so clean, you would not know that there were horses living here. 
No, you wouldn't. They're very prideful of their property. They keep it all that way. And they do board horses here. That is also a business that is run out of this property. Oh, okay. So, of course, you know, you want your clientele to know that their horses are being very well taken care of. Sure. Which they are here. Darstan Stables. This place is fantastic and just so quiet out here. I mean, there's been very few cars going down the road. It's like that all the time too, John. You get a little traffic so you don't feel like you're all alone. But all in all, this is a wonderful place. You have easy access to Oneana, Stamford. You can be anywhere you and want. And only an hour from Albany, really. Exactly. And there's a couple of back roads that might get you there a little quicker. <laughs> <laughs> so we have 210 acres of land, room for plenty of horses, beautiful barns, clean as a whistle, a beautiful home. We have the Morton building, which used to be a, an arena, a riding arena, Yes, right? it is, and it still can be a riding arena. It's very easy to switch back over. We have the uh, hay barn. And there's another storage barn behind this barn. You have another barn behind this barn, and of course the main barn where the horse is, and the little tack shop in case you needed a little extra reins or a saddle. It's all available here. All right, well, it's fantastic. Now, how does someone see this property if they, if they want to take a look at it? Well, that's very easy to do. All you have to do is call me, Sharon Teeter, at 607-267-2681, or you can contact me by email at steeter at realtorusa.com. Thank you, Sharon. You're very welcome. Thank you for coming.